first lesson from this little chat uh, is we're a small group animal trying to live in gigantic groups, wrecking our life support systems, and we have not come to grips with how to do something about it. The saddest thing is that though the scientific community has been all over the place announcing that we're on the edge of going under and we're in the process, right now, around the world, nothing, and I repeat, nothing significant is being done about it. All the little success stories you hear are tiny little things compared to the scale of the problem. If we are going to solve our problems, one of the biggest tasks is to re-engineer the entire, the entire energy system of the planet. Uh, that's no trivial task. But on top of that, we're also going to have to re-engineer and make more resilient the water handling infrastructure of the planet. Haven't even heard discussions of either of those things, even though a paper I was reading this morning uh, was discussing the issue of whether or not uh, we're going to go to the point where large parts of the planet simply become uninhabitable because there will be periods of such heat that people simply can't survive it. So, lesson number one, small group animal, unable to do anything about it so far. Lesson number two is uh, we can't predict exactly what's going to happen. We have what are technically known as two complex adaptive systems, the one of the biosphere and the one of the socio-economic political sphere. This is a place where individual actors are operating in, on their own grounds to their own benefit. When you have two complex adaptive systems now finally operating uh, together on a very large scale, there's a huge amount of unpredictability put in. What you can predict is we're going to have emergent disasters. What you cannot predict is exactly when they're going to happen, how long they're going to be, how bad the consequences are. And of course, a lesson to be taken out of that is known as the precautionary principle. Uh, if you have to be in the hospital in 20, uh, at 20 after 3 to pick someone up, and you know it normally takes an hour to get there, but you have to pick them up, you leave an hour and a half ahead of time. We're not leaving an hour and a half ahead of time.